What's happening guys? It is finally here, a masterpiece of horror, humor, and slice of life. The series called Ice Cream Man, the Deluxe Edition, Volume 1. Let's check it out. Let's do a quick comparison size to other Image Deluxe hardcovers. As you can see, it is smaller compared to the Deadly Class hardcovers and slightly bigger than a trade paperback. So if you do like what you see here, guys, make sure to get on that subscribe button for more comic related content written by W. Maxwell Prince, illustrated by Martin Marazzo, colored by Chris O'Halleran. Hell yes, I've been waiting to add this book to my shelf for quite a while. And after a few delays, it is finally here. So let's get into it. Collecting issues one through 12 or the first three trade paperbacks, a phenomenal must read, mature horror and slice of life series. Not necessarily about an ice cream man, but he is an evil presence lurking in this universe. A lot of these issues are standalone stories, stories about drug abuse to life's many losses, stories about the sufferings of the human condition. It can be a bit depressing, however, it does offer a light at the end of the tunnel in most of these tales, which makes you kind of appreciate life given its impermanent nature. At least that's the vibe that I'm getting from it. Honestly, some of the best comics I have ever read, it's that good. So let's get into a few of what these stories are about so you know what it is you're getting into. Minimum spoilers ahead, we have starting off at issue number one, we get introduced to our ice cream man named Rick, selling ice cream from his truck. Then the story focuses on this kid who ends up buying ice cream and walking home where his dead parents are because they've been bitten by a deadly spider. And the kid just ends up learning to live around his dead parents. There's more to it, but I'll leave it there. We get introduced to a reoccurring police detective here as well. Moving over to issue number two, we get introduced to two new characters, a couple who are addicted to heroin and are squatting in this suburban house. One of them is very dope sick and needs a fix. They pretty much sold everything they own already, so the female is in quite a bit of a panic about how they're going to find more drugs. She ends up going on a mission with a gun in hand, trying to find money by any means necessary. How this relates to our Ice Cream Man character, I'll let you find that out for yourself. And we'll just go through one more quickly. This is issue number six, titled Strange Neapolitan. Very interesting silent story with no dialogue. As you can see, the different color schemes representing the three ice cream flavors. Our main character approaches an ice cream truck and purchases a three flavor Neapolitan scoop and continues walking down the street when the story breaks off into three different storylines surrounding our main character. In one of these stories, he meets a girl and starts a relationship. In the next one, he meets a stray dog and begins to look after and take care of it. And in the last one, he ends up meeting a crazy serial killer. You never know what life will bring. Such a brilliantly crafted story, a mix of pleasure and pain with this one. Like I said, they are standalone stories. However, there are a few reoccurring characters scattered through the issues, mainly the character named Caleb, who seems to be in conflict with our Ice Cream Man character. And they do touch on some of that conflict here. To me, all of these stories are brilliant and well-written. Sure, I like some better than others, but they are all very high quality. The art style is pretty good. It suits the narrative very well. It's not overly detailed, but it really doesn't have to be in this case. The build of the book is quite nice. However, the page thickness is thinner than other Image Deluxe hardcovers compared specifically to the Deadly Class series. And the amount of content is not much, only 12 issues, 
when Deadly Class has 15 plus issues for almost the same price point. So thinner paper, less content, and a smaller oversized edition. Even though I've read this previously and I could also read these issues for free at my local library, I still decided to pick this up because it really is a must have. It's that good. I highly recommend you check this series out. Before I forget, let's check out these nice variant covers located at the back of the book. Until next time guys, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.